in recent years, say two decades, we've seen technology becoming very small and spread out, almost blending itself with every object in the city. Uh, so uh, you can think of uh, your uh, road networks, uh, your buses, the objects, the street furniture, but also everything that moves around in the city as constantly tweeting, if you want to call it. Uh, so things really emit digital information, where they are, what they are, all in real time. And, and in a, this is a new thing. It's almost like the internet is blending itself with physical space. Um, and it allows us to do all sorts of interesting things. If the city talks to us in that way, it tells us where is energy available in real time, where, where do masses move and how, um, um, what's the air quality around the corner. We can do a lot of interesting things in terms of synchrony, in terms of making the city healthier, cleaner, faster to move through. But also, we can think of how to take that information and feed it back into the city, involving people in making smarter decisions. So if you think of what it could mean for citizens, for example, uh, if I knew, if I, if I had information in my hands that could, make me, could allow me to make smart decisions as I move around, um, I would, be, I would become a smarter citizen myself. And the overall behavior of everybody in the city will give rise to the phenomena of what it is like to move through the city. It's a, a, you know, think of the decisions we make every second of the day give rise to most of what the city behaves like. And I think it's an important point. Today we make decisions based on very limited information, right? We can look around, we can listen, make a phone call maybe, but what if everything starts talking back to us? We know what's, you know, the simplest example is we know what's traffic like two street lights, two street lights down the road where we can't see at the moment. Suddenly our senses got enhanced. We can make smart decisions right now. If all of us can do it, suddenly traffic flows faster in the city. So each and every one of us as an atom becomes smarter. The whole is the city which becomes smarter. The cities are, in a, in a, are facing a big challenge today. They're growing at a rate uh, that we've never seen before. Uh, they've reached sizes that we haven't seen before. And most of the planet is moving into cities. We've been more than 50% living in urban environments for the past three years or so, uh, and the trend is upward big time. With the digital connectivity spreading itself throughout, the city, throughout cities, we can start to apply the, the parallel of engineering feedback loops, real-time feedback loops to cities, sensing, processing of information, and then actuating. These feedback loops can help you, you know, clear traffic faster, respond to disasters in a better way, help you and I make decisions as we consume, uh, but also as we vote. Uh, uh, also in terms of what we demand from our government. So l let's think about a city where everything communicates information all the time, almost tweeting. Where is the air quality? Where are people moving? Where are objects? You can know about supply chains, removal chains, the electrical grid, public transport. It all becomes evident. You can also process this information and then synchronize infrastructure, synchronize people, synchronize people and products. Uh, one thing is when this infrastructure is managed from the top down. This is what, uh, this is what people call today smart cities. Um, it's going to make great improvement in terms of flows, right? So if your traffic lights synchronize with the buses so that the buses uh, made it to the stop on time, if the train synchronized with the bus so that when you get off the train you can catch the bus seamlessly, uh, we can think of many efficiencies arising from uh, having a smart, smart algorithm synchronize infrastructure. The electrical grid will respond to big demand in a, in a much better way because it knows how people demand electricity in real time. But there's another opportunity which is almost more interesting. If all this information that comes out is brought back to the people, to each and every one of us, how can we then program the city? Almost like the internet. Think about what happened when APIs came around, when you could take content from one website, mix it with content from another server, and offer your own idea, offer your own service. There's a new opportunity because so many minds will be thinking of solving urban problems, will have so much, more, so much higher brain capacity looking at those very hard uh, to tackle problems. So I think in terms of participation, a, the city as an open platform for bottom-up engagement uh, is going to be very similar to what we saw in the early days of the internet.